I am excited to hear about what is your sort of standout that you've taken from the book so far. Okay, so, uh, well, first of all, the book came out uh, the best time for us, for our global fast, because we are learning and studying really quickly, reading the book just before we started our own fast. And uh, so, yeah, so um, it, what I've learned so far uh, that the fast that we've been doing is correct and 100% uh, endorsed by Dave Asprey, which is great. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello. Hi, Hi Michael. Hi. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> All right, so we're, we're live, okay. and uh, Dorota's just getting us started with um, what she's uh, dived into so far, or taken from the book so far. Okay. Yeah. So I was just saying that you know it's a great timing for a global fast to to be uh, assured by Dave Asprey that we're doing really good, correct practices and that we support the right right type of fasting. So. Uh, um, recommending liquid fast, bulletproof coffee, first of all, with MCT oil uh, to, to start your day, uh, support, your, um, uh, support your fast with electrolytes. Uh, these are all great and reassuring things. Uh, what I have learned that I had no idea about before is um, prebiotic fiber. Uh, so prebiotic fiber, I, well, I knew about it, but um, I had no idea that you could incorporate it into your fast. So Dave Asprey uh, produces one, and ta-da, look what came in the post the other day. <laughs> I was super excited about the size of this jar, because in the UK, they don't do sizes like this. <laughs> no. So Dave Asprey basically says that, um, the prebiotic fiber, fiber in the powder form it, is not going to break your fast because it's, um, it's a resistant fiber, which, um, which is not digested by our uh, bodies into glyco, the glycogen. So um, he recommends it to add it to your bulletproof coffee um, and drink it. Uh, and what that will do, that will support your gut microbiome uh, with prebiotic, so it's the feed for your bacteria. Uh, so keep your microbiome happy, even though you are not receiving any food. Um, and that also keeps your, um, it turns off sensation of your hunger during the fast as well. So it keeps you um, fuller for, for longer. So that's a good hack. And I'm gonna definitely introduce that on Sunday, on Monday. Amazing. Awesome. Thanks for sharing. Hey, Michael, so what is your sort of standout biohack or, or benefit maybe that you've learned from the book? Um, just that it's like, the, I guess the biohack was the same, like kind of the same things we've been doing, but also just reinforcing it and learning more about it, like doing bulletproof coffee, um, little MCT oil to help, but to also understand there's really not a strict fast like you know it's just going without um you know it's like learning it's like well if i don't do it this way or like if i don't do the whole 24 hours or 72 hours or 12 it's it's listening learning to listen to your body um and i think that for me was the biggest part and like learning to try different things like if i'm gonna do it it's okay let me see how this works um and kind of getting that real world perspective on it, I guess, um, where uh, allows me to make it more easy for myself. It's not about like, okay, I have to force it, or it's like, how can I make this so my, I can get, I can teach my body how to work better. As that's a biohack, I guess. I don't know if that's a biohack so much, but yeah, making things easier. <laughs> Yeah, no, what I love about that is that, you know, you're, you're learning about your body and that's, that is biohacking, right? Mm -hmm. we're, we're seeing what works for us and then adjusting if it's not working um, or, or testing something new and then going back to it and seeing, you know, did that work? Um, what worked about that? Mm -hmm. um, and, 
so yeah i love i love that you brought that up um because that that was also something that i got from the book is is the adaptability um and not like it's so easy to be strict about these things and be like um well not not so much strict but uh like a stickler you know like oh it's got to be this way or it's not a real fast if we're doing this mm-hmm. you know adding in prebiotics you know like w- for some die hard uh water fasters that might not be acceptable you know um but really at the end of the day we're we're just trying to optimize these bodies and our minds and be able to get the benefits of fasting um by doing these different things right and seeing what works for us yeah and if we if, if both fasts can if uh, if we both can achieve the same end goal uh you know the hardcore water faster and that and a person who knows the biology and we know how to hack those things and still be in the ketosis and still have autophagy uh, by introducing things to our um, to our fast that will make it more pleasant. So, you know, I probably I would go for this option rather than the hardcore ver- version of it. <laughs> yeah, I feel I mean, it feels like we're almost cheating. But yeah. we're not. It's it's optimizing, right? Yeah. We're just making it better and easier. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a clever way. It's a clever way of fasting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Like just... we're not in the bush. We're not starving. We're not like that. It's not like there's no, um, you know, our hunting is like really bad or something like that. You know. <laughs> yes. Um, so there's no need to be sort of suffering through this, right? No, mm-hmm. definitely not. And I love that you said, Dorota, about um, the prebiotic actually helping with um, satiety. Is that how we yeah. say it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So um, what else What else helps with that? Uh, MCT oil, right? And extra mm-hmm. fats? Yeah, MCT oil definitely helps with that. Uh, cinnamon uh, helps with that from kind of our own research but dave doesn't mention anything about cinnamon so i need to kind of look into it more in detail whether uh cinnamon breaks a fast or doesn't but it definitely helps with um suppressing the hunger feeling when you mix powder mm. powder into your tea for example um it makes it uh easier but i'll uh, yeah i'll I'll check that for <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So what um what's something that you already knew that you the book sort of reiterated? Mm-hmm. Go, right uh, go, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, yeah, as I mentioned before, so the you know the fact that we can be flexible about it about fasting. Mm-hmm. We don't have to be very hardcore or you know the the people you know fast it has to be only water fast and uh, uh and that's how you only get through you know to the other side of it uh yeah so the hacks that we've been practicing for a long time uh that's very reassuring that you know we've been doing it in a in a correct way in a clever way so yeah, yeah that's a good yeah. thing and um yeah and the fact that uh community is a really good or it's almost one of the key ingredients to make your fast successful so you you go through a preparation your shopping list uh you have your bulletproof coffee ingredients but you also have your community with you because that's you know that makes a whole world a lot of easier to go through the fast someone that you can always rely on and uh, and you know if you have like oh my god i can smell freshly baked bread i think i'm gonna break my fast and then caitlin comes to you and she's like no you've been there you know? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's just again it proves uh, it proves that global fast makes sense and you know mm. us creating this amazing community uh and doing it together is just uh um you know, adding extra uh, oxytocin, you know, happy hormone to be together. Yeah, absolutely. 
Absolutely. And I mean, there's, um, there is an alone part of this, right? Like you still have to be actively doing this very difficult thing. Um, yeah. and dealing with your, your, the battles within your body, um, you know, feeling hunger, smelling that fresh bread. Um, but yeah, absolutely. Knowing that there's a whole like group of people doing it with you or someone to lean on and say, Hey, I'm really struggling right now. Like, please, like, what do I do? Or, um, what is this thing? Like, am I just so caught up in my habits, you know, of, of eating at a certain time of day or, or whatever, and just be able to take a step back from that and feel supported by the community. Yes. So I love that, that you brought that up. Yeah. Um, and what about you, Michael? What's something you um, already knew that the book uh, reiterates? I guess the, was it, I don't know what he called it, but it was like, don't do it all the time. Um, mm -hmm. That was a bit, you know, it was like a reminder. It was like, right. Cause you fall into that, thing you get into your habit it's like oh i'm gonna continue because i feel fine right but yeah. it's also like you take your supplements you do um this it's a, it's good to switch it up that it allows you to um become more flexible with things and yes. uh so making a conscious like okay today i'm going to have uh collagen protein in my coffee or uh so i can i'm not fasting right but uh or like today i'm I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to eat, enjoy or whatever. Um, and it's, it's like feeling okay about it, but it's also like uh, to again, learn how to trust you. Right. It's like, is this okay? Yeah, it's okay. Um, do I do, do I want to eat right now? Yeah, I do. Mm. Is that, is that a want? Is that a need? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, um, and it's like noticing the change. Like it might, it, you know, it's like you sort of fall into that whole, not trap of being in the habit, but then it's like, then you start again, you have to real like notice it is that like uh, opens your eyes up. You could say like um, you, you add a little something in and you're like, do I have more energy today? Mm -hmm. Maybe I needed that. Okay. That's what it feels like. Okay. Now I'm starting to understand myself more. Yeah. Um, being reminded. It's like, don't do it all the time. You don't like strict. 20 yeah. you know whatever or 16 8 fast or i have to fast yeah. every week yes yeah. that's a very yeah good yeah yeah mm -hmm. sorry sorry patient uh can i just budge in it's a very yeah. good point mm -hmm. because um it, yeah you have to train your uh metabolism to be flexible as you said michael right but also mm -hmm. what I really loved what uh, Dave Asprey included in his book, it was about women and fasting for women. Um, and I've been doing fasting for quite some time and you know, the, the extended fasting for a year um, on a regular basis. And um, it, it kind of reassured me what I was reading in the book that uh, because women are very different than men and we have our own cycle and uh, how we were built in, um, you know, t we were built to bear children and our nature, our biology is always prepared for the, for the eventual pregnancy. And that's why we know we have different shape, we store fat in different parts of the body and, you know, we have cravings at different times of the month. Uh, but what, what uh, Dave Asprey saying about fasting for women is to to alternate it to you know to change things uh here and there and and use your body as a guide and what i um what i found reassuring reading this was that i i basically followed my own intuition with the fast as well so i do i do intermittent fasting but i do it like five days a week and then you know on break on a sunday or saturday i just i'll have a breakfast in the morning and and it kind of it fits it fits into my lifestyle but also i think it was my intuition saying you know because i want that bacon in the morning on once a week and i just thought you know i'm going to allow myself to do it and you know it turns out it's the right way to do it which is a good thing yeah i love that and i love that you've sort of um figured out how to know the difference between um a craving and a habit and then actually actual 
intuition and what your body is telling you. I think that a lot of people struggle with that. And there's a sort of learning curve that you go through yeah. to get to that point, right? Yes, totally. It comes with practice and, you know, uh, fa fasting um, practice in itself, it allows you to tune into your body and listen to your body and, and all the signals are... Um, you know, they're, they're enhanced during the fast because you are so, you can hear internally what your body's telling you. So, you know, you're able to pick up those signals during the fast and that's how you learn. And obviously fasting is, is part of your lifestyle. It's not just a one-off thing. Uh, well, it should be um, anyway, if you, you know, this is something, what do you do? You know, it's not just like, oh, you know, oh, I did this and, you know, I don't have to do it anymore it's part of your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I love that this ties back to what, what Michael was saying about being flexible and, and integrating and trying new things and coming in and out of it, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, so what else? Um, do you guys have anything you want to randomly share? Um, um, I I was going to okay. say that um, <laughs> being a yoga teacher and stuff, it's like you or just a coach, period, right? You know, I coach kids. It's uh, helping understand the like what your body's feeling, right? And uh, being uncomfortable, that's it's learning how to be uncomfortable, too. Uh, we are live in a very comfortable world, right? When, the, the weird thing is, though, it's that when we exercise or do something, it's like, okay, you have to do it. And, You've got to suffer right in order to get something and it's like a weird dynamic or like that um where it's like no i don't want to suffer i want to be comfortable but you know when i do it though i gotta really suffer it's like how about build it into your life right where you are um you know it, it, that's part of what you do right it's not about losing the weight it's not about like getting you know, about like okay i have to be really fit and look like this certain thing or this 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 public perception or whatever and it's like i it's making it just part of your lifestyle and it's okay to like learn how to make it easy i guess you could say that's the random thing it's like making great things for you easy <laughs> yeah 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 why uh why struggle alone and in pain and why we hungry when you there is science that we live in this modern world where, where there are so many resources that we can tap into um to not suffer and still get the results that we want mm -hmm. yeah definitely right what about your thing Kaysen? what what about mm -hmm. your, your thing that you've learned from the book uh that you had no idea about before um there's so many little nuggets that I've picked up on. Um, but, and, and it's, I love, what I love most about the book is how it integrates like motivation and reassurance and then little, you know, biohacks. And it's going back to the basics of where I started my wellness journey. Like I basically got into Bulletproof um, when he first came out with the Bulletproof diet book. Yeah. Um, and so it, it's sort of reiterating all those things for me, um, and bringing it back to basics where, you know, I've been living this way for so many years. Um, and so now I'm like, oh yeah, no, that does like, that did help in the beginning. And I do, I do still do that. And it is part of my lifestyle. So it's sort of reiterating those, those basics that I, um, if built my wellness, uh, my personal wellness yeah. uh, regime on, on, you know. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. the four foundations of wellness, right? Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. Totally. Um, yeah, so that's that's been huge for me. Um, and the the flexibility thing that, that we've all been talking about, you know, um, just kind of being, like, making it part of your lifestyle and being easy about it. I even did this morning. Usually I have a, a black coffee first. Um, and before I, I have a bulletproof coffee, I, I usually only have bulletproof coffee um, around midday or so. And so this morning I woke up a little late, 
Um, okay, miss my yoga class. Like, okay, just accept. Like, I needed more sleep, obviously. Um, and went to make my coffee, and I was going to make my, you know, black coffee as usual. And I was like, actually, I need a little bit of, need a little bit of MCT oil. I need some brain juice. I need some sustenance right now, you know. Um, and so I made a bulletproof coffee and that's, you know, that's not part of my routine that I usually do. Um, but it's, the book has reiterated to, to be flexible in those moments, you know, um, and to make it okay. And later today I'm going out for lunch with a friend and, you know, that's different for me too. And, and it's okay to like being social is important, you know, you don't want to, you're a hermit because you follow certain rules. <laughs> exactly. Like we still need to live our lives. And um, for those of us in the modern, like Western world, world, um, you know, these, this is part of what we, how we live, you know? Um, and for those who are unfortunately in um, sort of a lockdown situation, you know, finding community, where you can and finding social interactions where you can is so, so, so important. Um, and that's also like the, the beauty of global fast and when we started global fast it's it was right in the middle of lockdown, yeah. but we still managed to create this community, like this international community of, of people who are really interested in, in doing the same thing, you know, and um, connecting on that level. So then there's that sort of special, like hot, hot stuff in there, you know? So, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thank you both for sharing your wisdom um, and your learning. And um, I didn't exactly do a big intro. So just to <laughs> circle back around, um, uh, Michael has joined us. He is a human potential coach, um, a yoga instructor, and a kids uh, swim coach. Um, he also does breath work and is an awesome guy to just lean on and have in your life. Um, he's full of wisdom and biohacks um, and is also part of our Global Fast community. And um, Dorota is a co founder with me of uh, Global Fast. She's also a nutritionist and has been working in the food industry for many, many years. Um, uh, a foodie, you're a foodie, you're a total food geek, aren't you? But yeah, <laughs> food snob. <laughs> oh, snob, okay. Snobby geek, is that a thing? <laughs> awesome, and I'm Hayden Ruth. Uh, I'm a human potential coach and co-founder of Global Fast. And on Sunday, we start a 72-hour... Hey! <laughs> uh, we start a 72-hour fast. Um, you don't have to do 72 hours. You can do uh, 36 or 48 hours. Or even if you just want to try intermittent fasting, um, you will be supported given the tools to do things easily and correctly. Um, and yeah, we will shoot the um, sign up link in the, in the comments below. Yeah. And there's Elliot. Hey, yeah. Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> Always joins us. <laughs> Last is with, well, with our mommy for half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. All right. Thank you both so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. It was great.